so uh, we would be starting uh, <coughs> distribution property does not hold uh, in the lattices whereas distribution inequality holds so we would see one result of the theorem this yeah this theorem this theorem is a union c is less than equal to b union c we would say it like we would learn it a union c union with b union c okay we would say it is it is equal to equal to a union b oh sorry c union b union with c and associative property then it could be written as a union it is b union c union with c it is equal to a union b union with c union c this is commutative property mutative property and it is c by item idempotent property and this is given as a if a is less than b so this would be nothing but b so b union c and the first part is proved similarly the second part would be proved now i will prove this second point which shows that if if a is less than equal to c b c and b is less than equal to c then a union b should be less than equal to c so it could be proved like as from this from this result this result this we could write at a union b is less than equal to c union b okay yes we could write this from this theorem from this theorem we could write this from 1.1 theorem from this theorem this theorem we would write this okay and now we know that as a is greater than equal to c and b uh, c is great c is greater than equal to and c is greater than equal to b so this is nothing but c a union b and then it is proved similarly this part would be proved from this i would show you if c is less than equal to a and c is less than equal to b then c is less than equal to a intersection b this we would prove now so uska jo second part jo hai usse hum isko prove karenge so it would be like this as c intersection b is less than equal to a intersection b we got a intersection so intersection dono taraf b se le liya is property ko use kara is wali property ko jo second wali property hai to bas अब बोल रखा है साफ साफ की इंटरसेक्शन में सी छोटा एंड ए इंटरसेक्शन बी सो दिस वुड बी द रिजल्ट नाउ वी वुड प्रूव दिस वन सो इफ सी इफ ए इज लेस देन इक्वल टू बी एंड सी इज लेस देन इक्वल टू डी देन वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट ए यूनियन सी इज लेस देन इक्वल टू बी यूनियन डी सो इट्स वेरी सिंपल Uh, we would do this from this from this property okay. and in this we will do union with b why would we do this because it is common and we don't want this part we want only this and this part so if this is less than this and this is less than this, so by merging this a union c is less than equal to d union b h is proved so this part is proved by using this theorem this is very important theorem of isotonicity so we would do now this theorem lattice l is a lattice 
and a union b intersection c is this so we would relate this with this and this with this similarly this with this and this with this so here i had done now first ko hum jo isko isse relate karenge to kaise likhenge ek ko aise likhenge aur ek ko aise likh denge kyunki dono se relate karna hai and this is very obvious so a is upper bound lower bound here and in dono ka jo hum intersection karenge that is greatest lower bound so ye tarika hai likhne ka aur hum isko direct bhi kar sakte hain ki a is less than equal to a union b intersection with a union c so it is a way to write like that now we would so see something for this we relate this with this and this with this so b intersection c we would see and relate it with a union b what could we do is uh, as we know b is less than equal to a union b also b should be greater than equal to b intersection c so from this we could see that b intersection c is less than equal to a union b now b union c and the relation between a union c as you know b intersection c is less than equal to c and c is less than equal to a union c so from these two we can see b intersection c is less than equal to a union c so this was 3 this was 4 by joining this right like this and a union b intersection with a union c is greatest lower bound test lower bound so we could see that it is greater it is greater than this so b union c should be greater than a intersection b union with a intersection c now this is 5 now combine this with this we will do same thing a union with b union c is less than equal to by the same reason we would write the same statement this is lower bound and this is greatest lower bound so this would be a intersection b union with a intersection c similarly we would relate this with this this with this and this with this and this with this now this a <laughs> is greater than equal to a intersection b this would know and a is greater than equal to a intersection c so by the same reason a is the upper bound greatest upper bound sorry a is the upper bound and a intersection b union with a intersection c is the greatest upper bound the least upper bound least upper bound so a is greater than equal to a intersection b union with a intersection c this is the first point so now this part as because this with this and this with this compare this as b is greater than equal to a intersection b and c is greater than equal to a intersection c so what we could do now sorry i cut down this part it was not there as this is this and b is union this so we could write b union c is greater than equal to a intersection b similarly we could do with with b union with c and a intersection c as it can be written b union c is greater than equal to c and a intersection c is less than equal to c by using this could write b union c is greater than equal to a intersection c now combining this and this we could write b union c is greater than equal to a intersection b 
union with A intersection with C and now this and this combining this and this we will get this now here we have modular inequality if A is less than or equal to C if and only if this we need to prove so this is very easy by using the last distributive inequality here here this one we could use of this this is less than this so we would see it here that uh, yeah if a is less than or equal to c then um, uh, we need to prove uh, a union b intersection c less than or equal to a union b intersection c so what could we do here is applying the distributive inequality a union b intersection with a union c this is lhs and now it is would be reduced well. so this part is greater than equal to this part this part is written using distributive inequality distributive inequality so now as this is c because we have given this so this is c a union b equal to a union b intersections so hence proved we need to prove this one so now we would need to prove this if a b c belongs to a lattice and this relation is given then we need to prove this very simple a union b equal to v because this condition and b intersection c is nothing but smaller wala greatest lower bound which is equal to v and comparing these two a union b equal to b intersection c hence prove this part now we had this part uh, we need to write this so using a intersection b is nothing but a union b intersection c is nothing but b this is left part now this is right part a union b is nothing but b intersection with intersection is meet and union is i am saying it but it's showing and a intersection c a union c is nothing but c why c by transitivity if a is less than or equal to b is less than or equal to c so c definitely would less than a so this part and we would we had already proved that this is this same as this uh, although we can prove it otherwise it would don't have this but it's very simple that a union b is nothing but b and b intersection c is nothing but b so hence prove this part so i would like to remind you the some few properties which we had done uh, it's more or less same if a union a this is idempotent a union a is a and a intersection a is a this is idempotent property and there is associativity property which is a union b union c is equal to a union b union c this is associativity we had done the bracket like this and the third was commutative property if <laughs> a union b equal to we could change the order b union a or a intersection b equal to a inter oh, b intersection a these are the order we had used this property in isoton isoton theorem i don't remember the name yeah, isotonicity to prove isotonicity